We spoke about buying and selling previously, and we spoke about um, some of the conditions, and we spoke about riba last time. Today we're going to talk about something called khayar, the options in buying and selling. So um, we have a few categories related to choice, okay? First of all, we have something called khayar al-majlis, the option to break the contract whilst you're in the same majlis, okay? So the Prophet ﷺ said, al-bay'an bil khayar, the two, the, the two uh, partners in dealing and the buyer and the seller, they have a choice as long as they don't depart from each other. Meaning that until they are sitting, we're sitting together, we're having a cup of tea. Okay, and I said to you, I would like to sell, I'll sell you my car for a hundred pounds. And you say, yeah, I accept. That's a sale, yeah? But we're still sitting, we're still carrying on. And then he, brother says, you know what, actually, no, no, I don't want to buy that. That's fine, he has the right to do that, okay? As long as we are in the same sitting. When we depart, okay, he goes his way, I go my way, then that's it. The sale has now been commi committed. Yeah, and some say also this departing might be in time. So we're sitting in a group here. We did this transaction, kept on, but then yani, we started talking about lots of other things, and he started talking to somebody else. I started. To, we're still sitting, but we've departed in our conversation. That now option to change mind is also cancelled. All right. So that's a simple option. It's basically about having the option to cancel. <coughs> while we're still in the sitting. The second option of cancelling is khayar al aib when there is a, a fault in the merchandise that you have purchased. Okay? So, you buy something from so, uh, someone, obviously you've, you, you know, you've seen a thing, you didn't check it. Here, the default position, if you like, according to um, the Islamic uh, principles is that you have three days three days to uh, to take it back if you find any fault all right so you bought something three days to check the item to make sure that you're happy etc within three days if you find any fault whether it's stipulated in the contract, you agree or whatever, it doesn't matter. You find a fault within three days, you can take it back and say, look, you sold me this, it's, it's, uh, it's a dud. Yeah, uh, I'd like my... So that's the option of uh, a defect. That's like something that was you know, introduced to avoid. Now, three days is what was uh, stipulated by the Prophet وسلم, and he carried on because that was, a norm that was a normality, if you like. Normality, people are living in the same town Three days was more than enough, you know, it's not like, you know, you've got a hundred other things to do, you don't have time, because you bought something, you're going to check it straight away. And then, also at that time, uh, the items that were being sold were very uh, basic items. It's not like maybe an animal, maybe, a, you know, uh, some sort of uh, appliance, gadget, but it's not like, you know, like, like a phone or a car or something which can have mechanical issues or whatever. Vacuum cleaner. So it was, you know, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Carpet washer and carpet. So the, so the thing is, that was given as a basic uh, uh, allowance. Fast forward today, obviously, comes the third type of option, which is the option related to a condition. Khayar al-Shart. So when you have a condition, when you buy from anyone, the two parties have the right to put any condition. So you might say to I'll buy it for you, and I'll, uh, but on condition that you guarantee it for one year. Okay, that's an extra condition that a person can put. Or he might give that condition. Look, you can buy it off me and I give you a guarantee for one year, or 10 years, or whatever, warrant. Whatever that condition is, that is also permissible to be placed within uh, the contract. So now we have those three, if you like, types of opportunities to cancel out uh, 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 a purchase now sometimes uh, a person might take an item and he actually uses it all right so he uses the item he if you like makes uh, makes uh, 
some sort of uh, makes use of that item uh, but then he finds that he doesn't need it or within that kind of period he wants to change it or there is a fault here he can return it but if he has in any way used the item which has devalued it he has to recompensate for that devaluation and traditionally I mean in the hadith of process in the traditional way was related to a person who was selling an animal so usually what they used to do is a form of cheating what they used to do is they used to tie the udder of the animal okay what happens when you tie the udder the milk <laughs> becomes a lot so the, the udders it seems very big so when you look at it oh, mashallah this uh, goat <laughs> produces so much milk and so much barakah so you buy it then you take it home you milk it and then obviously you've got all the milk and then one two three days no milk is coming back <laughs> so um, so you can take it back however the Prophet said now that you've taken the milk okay so there's some milk here maybe uh, a couple of liters of milk and you drank it or whatever so he said you can return it but you return with it uh, some dates sa, sa, so like two liters of date as a compensation for the milk that you have used so here this we can measure on any other principle that if you've taken an item and you want to return it but you've devalued it in some way you've used it for a certain reason or whatever and it's been used okay then you have to compensate in a certain way for that uh, that usage and that is like a general notion so you see all these guidelines here are all to preserve people's rights and to prevent any issues of uh, debate yes you might this guy might have tied the other or maybe he was um, genuinely and he didn't there was nothing wrong with the the sheep was you know wasn't milked for a few days and it just happened to be like that or whatever so can be genuine it might be deceptive but the whole idea is to allow people to resort to some sort of uh, way whether they can uh, return items this all shows us that and it's basically saying that the purchase and the sale is not final because by default people will buy things and they'll find some issues with the item so that then they have they can take it back so we have khayar al majlis while you're sitting in the same majlis you can change your mind Okay, secondly, the khayar of the aib, the fault, and we said that's three days, that's like the default position, but then it can be uh, any other related to, to, I mean, nowadays, if you like, the sharia was like the law of the land, okay, but now if you have the law of the land, which says that you have up to 30 days to return it, khalas, that's going to be applicable, it's going to be, you can't, you can't say, no, 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 I will only accept three days because that's the Sharia perspective. I'm not going <laughs> to. No, the law of the land is 30 days, okay? Uh, uh, and so on. Uh, and the last one is the khayar of uh, the shart, which is the condition that you might place between yourselves and you agree on that. Okay? Any questions on that? I just think it's beautiful that this recurrent policy. That was invented so long ago. Yeah. It's still being used yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. The return policy, yeah. Yes. Okay. That's good. Let's end there, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Subhanakallah. Alhamdulillah. 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 Alhamdulillah.